Love Your Work is supported in part by Treehouse. Take your career to the next level and learn from over 1,000 videos created by expert teachers on web design, coding, business, and much more. Practice what you've learned through quizzes and interactive code challenges. Claim your 14-day free trial at kadavy.net slash treehouse. You'll be supporting the show. This is Love Your Work. On this show, we meet people who have carved out success by their own definition. I'm David Cadby, best-selling author and entrepreneur, and I want to thank all of you who supported the show on Product Hunt last week for the episode last week. It was a huge honor to have Steve Case, Steve Case, founder and former CEO of America Online, inventor of the internet as far as I'm concerned, and his episode was the number one podcast on Product Hunt last Thursday. Thanks to listeners like you for upvoting. Let's see if we can keep it up. Look out for this episode on Product Hunt and give it an upvote. We now have a 5,000 download episode. The first episode of Love Your Work, the legendary Jason Freed episode, has hit 5,000 downloads. And that one is also chopped up into digestible and shareable bits on a YouTube playlist. So if you count those listens, that's quite a few more. Thanks for sharing that episode with your friends. And if you haven't listened to it yet, go check it out. And today I'm going to be reading a post from Medium. I've been writing on Medium a lot. It's actually a lot of fun. And uh, this post really took off and I was really surprised, actually, because it's, it's just like a, a list of lessons that I have learned so far. I recently turned 37. And uh, yeah, I think it's kind of weird that um, I, don't know, I, I sort of feel like I shouldn't be sharing my age. Um, I'm at that age now where people start uh, hiding their birthday on Facebook as if it's going to, I don't know. I don't know why they do it, but it, it, it feels as if as if uh, they're in denial that they exist inside of a sack of meat that is deteriorating slowly, which is certainly true for myself. Um, so anyway, it, this is 37 lessons from 37 years, and uh, we'll see how this goes because it, it's a list. I don't know how it's going to sound on audio. I'm not sure whether I'm going to say the numbers or not because um, 37 is very long. Uh, but this has over a thousand recommends on uh, medium and climbing. So uh, hopefully you will enjoy it and get some wisdom from it. Thirty seven lessons from thirty seven years. As of today, I have been alive for thirty seven years. Here is everything I've learned. One, whenever possible, act now. 2. You're worth so much more than your eyeballs. 3. What you think is all in your head may actually be in your body. Find a good doctor. 4. Trust your subconscious. It knows your path better than you do. 5. Get therapy. 6. You're bombarded with mediocre opportunities. 7. Thus, it's your challenge to ignore mediocre opportunities. 8. You're bombarded with mediocre friendships and relationships. 9. Thus, it's your challenge to ignore mediocre friendships and relationships. 10. Most people are dying to distract themselves from their own thoughts. 11. There is a lot of money to be made in distracting people from their own thoughts. 12. Thus, everything around you is built to help people distract themselves from their own thoughts. 13. So, ignore most everything and make space for your own thoughts. 14. Nobody reads the whole article before commenting. 15. Nearly everybody is juicing. They're making themselves sick trying to catch up with one another. 16. Thus, your challenge is to catch up with yourself. 17. You can only so know so much. 18. And your brain is ruled by biases. 19. Thus, you can hardly trust what you think you know. 20. And you can only know so much about a person. 21. So, if you feel jealous when comparing yourself to someone else, you're wrong. 22. Take improv classes. It will get you out of your head and into the moment. 23. Take voice lessons. It really is possible to improve your singing. 24. Only sing in a key that is comfortable for you. 
twenty-five. Take lessons in a social dance: salsa, swing, tango, etc. You'll learn to cooperate, and you'll have instant community anywhere you travel. Twenty-six. Traveling sucks. It's much better to live in different places for short bursts. Twenty-seven. What you think is a personality flaw may just be the bad influence of the place where you live. Twenty-eight. What you think sucks about where you live may just be a flaw in your own perception. Twenty-nine. If you merely suspect something is holding you back, it's not. You are. Thirty. When you dream of something, that thing seems impossible. Thirty-one. When something you dream of feels impossible, it makes you unhappy. Thirty-two. Thus, be comfortable with where you are. Thirty-three. But still, dream while being comfortable with where you are. Thirty-four. When you use a bookmark, you invite yourself to forget what you've read. Thirty-five. Thus, don't use bookmarks. Thirty-six. Smart people do dumb things when the pressure is on. Thirty-seven. Even though it's cliche to end a list with something pithy, it ties it up nicely. Clichés are clichés for a reason. There we go. Thirty-seven things that I've learned, and thirty. Actually, it's all that I know. These are the only things that I know, and I'm actually probably wrong about some of those things,、um, which is another thing that I know. So maybe the list isn't totally inclusive.、Um, yeah, go check it out on Medium if you want to investigate further. There's plenty of links in there, and some of those maxims that link to other articles that expand on some of the ideas and such. So、uh, yeah, I hope that you learn something from this post. I want to tell you about Active Campaign. If you don't have an email list for your business yet, you should have one. And if you build an email list, you should do it with Active Campaign. I've used other email service providers, but the moment I used Active Campaign, I'm telling you, I was in love. They have this incredible visual. Drag and drop editor for designing automations. I can do these really sophisticated automations, so I don't have to think about email marketing. It just runs automatically. I'm telling you, I've researched for years, years before I switched email service providers. Talked to so many different people who had so many different other providers, and just happened upon Active Campaign. And the moment I tried Active Campaign, I knew they were the one. I just Their their interface just fits the way that my brain thinks about email campaigns. Best of all, they actually cost less than the other ESP that I was using. See for yourself at kadavi.net/slash/activecampaign. That's kadavi.net/slash/activecampaign. You'll be supporting the show if you sign up with them. I'm trying some crowdfunding for Love Your Work. I'm a big believer in supporting content creators myself. I donate to my favorite writers, photographers, podcasters, and software developers. So while you can support my work through supporting my sponsors or buying my courses, I'm trying out a new option. Go to kadavi.net/crowdfund to learn more. And before I go, I've got to ask: Do you like books? If you do, I'd love to send you my book recommendations. About 90% of them will be nonfiction on subjects spanning from biographies to neuroscience. Just go to kadavi.net/reading. Sign up, and you'll get my first set of book recommendations right away. You'll be supporting the show if you buy any of those books through the links in the email. This has been Love Your Work, and I'm David Cadavy. The theme music for the show is C N U, performed by the Album Leaf, courtesy of Sub Pop Records. Love Your Work is a production of Cadavy Inc.